The First Book of Ezra Chapter 1 Cyrus king of Persia releaseth God's people from their captivity, with license to return and build the temple in Jerusalem, and restoreth the holy vessels which Nabucodonosor had taken from thence. In the first year of Cyrus king of the Persians, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of the Persians, and he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and in writing also, saying, Thus saith Cyrus king of the Persians, The Lord the God of heaven hath given to me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judea. Who is there among you, of all his people? His God be with him. Let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judea, and build the house of the Lord the God of Israel. He is the God that is in Jerusalem. And let all the rest in all places, wheresoever they dwell, help him every man from his place with silver and gold and goods and cattle, besides that which they offer freely to the temple of God, which is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and Levites and everyone whose spirit God had raised up to go up to build the temple of the Lord which was in Jerusalem. And all they that were round about helped their hands with vessels of silver and gold, with goods and with beasts, and with furniture besides what they had offered on their own accord. And King Cyrus brought forth the vessels of the temple of the Lord which Nabucodonosor had taken from Jerusalem, and had put them in the temple of his God. Now Cyrus king of Persia brought them forth by the hand of Mithridates, the son of Gezobar, and numbered them to Sasabasar, the king of Judah. And this is the number of them. Thirty bowls of gold, a thousand bowls of silver, nine and twenty knives, thirty cups of gold, silver cups of a second sort, four hundred and ten, other vessels, a thousand. All the vessels of gold and silver, five thousand four hundred. All these Sasabasar brought with them that came up from the captivity of Babylon to Jerusalem. The number of them that returned to Judea, their oblations. Now these are the children of the province that went out of the captivity, which Nabuchodonosor, king of Babylon, had carried away to Babylon, and who returned to Jerusalem and Judah, every man to his city, who came with Zerobabel, Joshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Reheliah, Mordecai, Belson, Mesphar, Begui, Rehum, Bena, the number of the men of the people of Israel, the children of Pharaoh, 2,172, the children of Zephatia, 372, the children of Aria, 775, the children of Pheheth Moab, of the children of Joshua, Joab, 2,000, 812, the children of Elam, 1,254, the children of Zethua, 945, the children of Zakai, 760, the children of Bani, 642, the children of Bibai, 623, the children of Asgad, 1,222, the children of Adonikam, 666, the children of Begui, 2,056, the children of Aden, 454. The children of Ather, who were of Ezekias, 98. The children of Besai, 323. The children of Jorah, 112. The children of Hesom, 223. The children of Gebar, 95. The children of Bethlehem, 123. The men of Netufa, 56. The men of Anathoth, 128. The children of Asmaveth, 42. The children of Cariathirim, Kephira, and Beroth, 743. The children of Rama and Gebe, 621. The men of Machmas, 122. The men of Beth Alanhai, 223. The children of Nebo, 52. The children of Megbis, 156. The children of the other Elam, 1,254. The children of Harim, 320. The children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. The children of Jericho, 
345. The children of Sena, 3,630. The priests, the children of Jediah, of the house of Josue, 973. The children of Emer, 1,052. The children of Feshur, 1,247. The children of Harim, 1,017. The Levites, the children of Josue and of Kedmihel. The children of Odovia, 74. The singing men, the children of Asaph, 128. The children of the porters, the children of Salem, the children of Ater, the children of Telmon, the children of Akub, the children of Hatita, the children of Sobai, in all 139. The Nethanites, the children of Siha, the children of Hasufa, the children of Tabao, the children of Keros, the children of Sia, the children of Phadon, the children of Lebana, the children of Hegaba, the children of Akub, the children of Hegab, the children of Semlai, the children of Hanan, the children of Gadel, the children of Geher, the children of Rea, the children of Rasin, the children of Nekoda, the children of Gazam, the children of Asa, the children of Phasea, the children of Besi, the children of Asena, the children of Munim, the children of Nephusim, the children of Bakbok, the children of Akufa, the children of Harher, the children of Besloth, the children of Mahida, the children of Harsa, the children of Berkos, the children of Sisara, the children of Thema, the children of Nasea, the children of Hatifa, the children of the servants of Solomon, the children of Sotai, the children of Sofaret, the children of Faruda, the children of Jala, the children of Dirkon, the children of Gedel, the children of Sephathia, the children of Hatil, the children of Phokereth, which were of Asibim, the children of Ami, all the Nathanites, and the children of the servants of Solomon, 392. And these are they that came up from Thelmela, Thelharsa, Cherub, and Adon, and Emer, and they could not show the house of their fathers and their seed, whether they were of Israel. The children of Deliah, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nakoda, 652. And of the children of the priests, the children of Hobiah, the children of Akos, the children of Berzeli, who took a wife of the daughters of Berzeli, the Galadite, and was called by their name. These sought the writing of their genealogy, and found it not, and they were cast out of the priesthood. And Athersatha said to them that they should not eat of the Holy of Holies, till there arose a priest learned and perfect. All the multitudes as one man were forty-two thousand three hundred and sixty, besides their men servants and women servants, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred and thirty-seven, and among them singing men and singing women two hundred. Their horses, 736. Their mules, 245. Their camels, 435. Their asses, 6,720. And some of the chief of the fathers, when they came to the temple of the Lord, which is in Jerusalem, offered freely to the house of the Lord to build it in its place. According to their ability, they gave towards the expenses of the work 61,000 solids of gold, 5,000 pounds of silver, and a 100 garments for the priests. So the priests and the Levites, and some of the people, and the singing men, and the porters, and the Nathanites, dwelt in their cities, and all Israel in their cities. Chapter 3 An altar is built for sacrifice. The Feast of Tabernacles is solemnly celebrated, and the foundations of the temple are laid. And now the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in their cities, and the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. And Joshua, the son of Josedek, rose up, and his brethren the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son of Salathiel, and his brethren. And they built the altar of the God of Israel, that they might offer holocausts upon it, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And they set the altar of God upon its bases, while the people of the lands round about put them in fear. And they offered upon it a holocaust to the Lord morning and evening. And they kept the feast of the tabernacles as it is written, and offered the holocaust every day, orderly according to the commandments, the duty of the day in its day. 
that afterwards the continual holocaust both of the new moons and on all the solemnities of the Lord that were consecrated, and on all in which a free will offering was made to the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month they began to offer holocausts to the Lord, but the temple of God was not yet founded. And they gave money to hewers of stones and to masons, and meat and drink, and oil to the Sidonians and Tarians, to bring cedar trees from Libanus to the Sea of Joppe, according to the orders which Cyrus king of the Persians had given them. And in the second year of their coming to the temple of God in Jerusalem, the second month, Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, and Josiah, the son of Josedek, and the rest of their brethren, the priests, and the Levites, and all that were come from the captivity to Jerusalem, began, and they appointed Levites from twenty years old and upward to hasten forward the work of the Lord. Then Joshua and his sons and his brethren, Kedmahel and his sons, and the children of Judah as one man stood to hasten them that did the work in the temple of the Lord. The sons of Hanadad and their sons and their brethren, the Levites. And when the masons laid the foundations of the temple of the Lord, the priests stood in their ornaments with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, to praise God by the hands of David, king of Israel. And they sung together hymns, and praised to the Lord, because he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever towards Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout, praising the Lord, because the foundations of the temple of the Lord were laid. But many of the priests and the Levites and the chiefs of the fathers and the ancients that had seen the former temple, when they had the foundation of this temple before their eyes, wept with a loud voice, and many shouting for joy lifted up their voice, so that one could not distinguish the voice of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For one with another the people shouted with a loud shout, and the voice was heard afar off. Chapter 4 The Samaritans, by their letter to the king, hinder the building. Now the enemies of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity were building a temple to the Lord, the God of Israel. And they came to Zerubbabel and the chief of the fathers, and said to them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do. Behold, we have sacrificed to him since the days of Asar Hadan, king of Assyria, who brought us hither. But Zerubbabel and Joshua and the rest of the chiefs of the fathers of Israel said to them, You have nothing to do with us to build a house to our God. We ourselves alone will build to the Lord our God, as Cyrus king of the Persians hath commanded us. Then the people of the land hindered the hands of the people of Judah, and troubled them in building. And they hired counselors against them to frustrate their design all the days of Cyrus king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius king of the Persians. And in the reign of Asuerus, in the beginning of his reign, they wrote an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes, Besalem, Mithridates, and Thabiel, and the rest that were in the council, wrote to Artaxerxes, king of the Persians. And the letter of accusation was written in Syriac, and was read in the Syrian tongue. Reom Beltim and Samsai, the scribe, wrote a letter from Jerusalem to king Artaxerxes in this manner. Reom Beltim and Samsai, the scribe, and the rest of their counselors, the Dinites, and the Afarsethakites, the Therphalites, the Aphrasites, the Ercoites, the Babylonians, the Susanakites, the Devites, and the Elamites, and the rest of the nations whom the great and glorious Asenophar brought over, and made to dwell in the cities of Samaria, and in the rest of the countries of this side of the river in peace. This is the copy of the letter which they sent to him. To Artaxerxes, the king, thy servants, the men that are on this side of the river, send greeting. Be it known to the king that the Jews, who came up from thee to us, are come to Jerusalem, a rebellious and wicked city, which they are building, setting up the ramparts thereof, and repairing the walls. And now be it known to the king that if this city be built up, and the walls thereof repaired, they will not pay tribute, nor toll, nor yearly revenues, and this loss will fall upon the kings. But we, remembering the salt that we have eaten in the palace, and because we counted a crime to see the king wronged, and therefore sent and certified the king, that search may be made in the books of the histories of thy fathers, and thou shalt find written in the records, and shalt know that this city is a rebellious city, and hurtful to the kings and provinces, and that wars were raised therein of old time, 
for which cause also the city was destroyed. We certify the king that if this city be built and the walls thereof repaired, thou shalt have no possession on this side of the river. The king sent word to Rehum, Bealtin, and Samsai the scribe, and to the rest that were in their council, inhabitants of Samaria, and to the rest beyond the river, sending greeting and peace. The accusation which you have sent to us hath been plainly read before me, and I command it, and search hath been made, and it is found that the city of old time hath rebelled against kings, and seditions and wars have been raised therein. For there have been powerful kings in Jerusalem, who have had dominion over all the country that is beyond the river, and have received tribute and toll and revenues. Now therefore hear the sentence. Hinder those men that this city be not built, till further orders be given by me. See that you be not negligent in executing this, lest, by little and little, the evil grow to the hurt of the kings. Now the copy of the edict of King Artaxerxes was read before Rehum, Bealtin, and Samsai the scribe, and their counselors, and they went up in haste to Jerusalem to the Jews, and hindered them with arm and power. Then the work of the house of the Lord in Jerusalem was interrupted, and ceased till the second year of the reign of Darius, king of the Persians. Chapter 5 By the exhortation of Aegeus and Zacharias, the people proceed in building the temple, which their enemies strive in vain to hinder. Now Aegeus, the prophet, and Zacharias, the son of Addo, prophesied to the Jews that were in Judea and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel. Then rose up Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, and Josiah, the son of Josedek, and began to build the temple of God in Jerusalem, and with them were the prophets of God helping them. And at the same time came to them Pethani, who was governor beyond the river, and Tharbozani, and their counselors, and said thus to them, who hath given you counsel to build this house and to repair the walls thereof? In answer to which, we gave them the names of the men who are the promoters of that building. But the eye of their God was upon the ancients of the Jews, and they could not hinder them. And it was agreed that the matter should be referred to Darius, and then they should give satisfaction concerning that accusation. The copy of the letter that Thathani, governor of the country beyond the river, and Tharbozani, and his counselors, the Arpha Sakites, who dwelt beyond the river, sent to Darius the king. The letter which they sent him was written thus, To Darius the king all peace. Be it known to the king that we went to the province of Judea, to the house of the great God, which they are building with unpolished stones, and timber is laid in the walls, and this work is carried on diligently, and advanceth in their hands. And we asked those ancients, and said to them thus, Who hath given you authority to build this house, and to repair these walls? We asked also of them their names, that we might give thee notice, and we have written the names of the men that are the chief among them. And they answered us in these words, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and we are building a temple that was built these many years ago, in which a great king of Israel built and set up. But after that our fathers had provoked the God of heaven to wrath, he delivered them into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, the Chaldean. And he destroyed this house, and carried away the people to Babylon. But in the first year of Cyrus, the king of Babylon, King Cyrus set forth a decree that this house of God should be built. And the vessels also of gold and silver of the temple of God, which Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple that was in Jerusalem, and had brought them to the temple of Babylon. King Cyrus brought out of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered to one Sesebassar, whom also he appointed governor, and said to him, Take these vessels, and go, and put them in the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be built in its place. Then came this same Sesebazar, and laid the foundations of the temple of God in Jerusalem, and from that time until now it is in building, and it is not yet finished. Now therefore, if it seem good to the king, let him search in the king's library, which is in Babylon, whether it hath been decreed by Cyrus the king that the house of God in Jerusalem should be built, and let the king send his pleasure to us, Concerning this matter. Chapter 6 King Darius favoreth the building, and contributeth to it. Then King Darius gave orders, and they searched in the library of the books that were laid up in Babylon. And there was found in Ecbatana, which is a castle in the province of Media, a book in which this record was written. In the first year of Cyrus the king, Cyrus the king decreed that the house of God should be built, which is in Jerusalem, in the place where they may offer sacrifices, 
and that they lay the foundations that may support the height of threescore cubits and the breadth of threescore cubits. Three rows of unpolished stones, and so rows of new timber, and the charges shall be given out of the king's house. And also let the golden and silver vessels of the temple of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple of Jerusalem, and brought to Babylon, be restored and carried back to the temple of Jerusalem to their place, which also were placed in the temple of God. Now therefore, the Thani, governor of the country beyond the river, Tharbuzani, and your counselors, the Ephrathites, who are beyond the river, depart far from them, and let that temple of God be built by the governor of the Jews and by their ancients, that they may build that house of God in its place. I also have commanded what must be done by those ancients of the Jews, that the house of God may be built to it, that of the king's chest, that is, of the tribute that is paid out of the country beyond the river, the charges be diligently given to those men, lest the work be hindered. And if it shall be necessary, let calves also, and lambs and kids for holocausts to the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, and oil, according to the custom of the priests that are in Jerusalem, be given them day by day, that there be no complaint in anything. And let them offer oblations to the God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king and of his children. And I have made a decree, that if any whatsoever shall alter this commandment, a beam be taken from his house, and set up, and he be nailed upon it, and his house be confiscated. And may the God that hath caused his name to dwell there destroy all kingdoms, and the people that shall put out their hand to resist, and to destroy the house of God that is in Jerusalem. I, Darius, have made the decree which I will have diligently complied with. So then Thethani, governor of the country beyond the river, and Tharbozani and his counselors diligently executed what Darius the king had commanded. And the ancients of the Jews built and prospered according to the prophecy of Aegeus the prophet, and of Zacharias the son of Addo. And they built and finished by the commandment of the God of Israel, by the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and Artaxerxes, kings of the Persians. And they were finishing this house of God until the third day of the month of Adar, which was in the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. And the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the children of the captivity, kept the dedication of the house of God with joy. And they offered at the dedication of the house of God a hundred calves, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and for a sin offering for all Israel twelve he-goats, according to the number of the tribes of Israel. And they set the priests in their divisions, and the Levites in their courses, over the works of God in Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. And the children of Israel of the captivity kept the phase on the fourteenth day of the first month. For all the priests and the Levites were purified as one man. All were clean to kill the phase for all the children of the captivity, and for their brethren the priests and themselves. And the children of Israel that were returned from captivity, and all that had separated themselves from the filthiness of the nations of the earth to them, to seek the Lord the God of Israel, did eat. And they kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy. For the Lord had made them joyful, and had turned the heart of the king of Assyria to them, that he should help their hands in the work of the house of the Lord, the God of Israel. Chapter 7 Esdras goeth up to Jerusalem to teach and assist the people with a gracious decree of Artaxerxes. Now after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of the Persians, Esdras the son of Sarias, the son of Azarias, the son of Helchias, the son of Salem, the son of Sadok, the son of Echitob, the son of Amarias, the son of Azarias, the son of Marioth, the son of Zarahias, the son of Ozai, the son of Bokai, the son of Abusui, the son of Phinees, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest from the beginning. This Esdras went up from Babylon, and he was already scribed to the law of Moses, which the Lord God had given to Israel. And the king granted him all his requests, according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. And there went up some of the children of Israel, and of the children of the priests, and of the children of the Levites, and of the singing men, and of the porters, and of the Nathanites, to Jerusalem in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king. And they came to Jerusalem in the fifth month in the seventh year of the king. For upon the first day of the first month he began to go up from Babylon, and on the first day of the fifth month he came to Jerusalem according to the good hand of his God upon him. For Esdras had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, and to do and to teach in Israel the commandments and judgment. This is the copy of the letter of the edict which King Artaxerxes gave to Esdras, the priest, the scribe instructed in the words and commandments of the Lord, 
and his ceremonies in Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, to Esdras the priest, the most learned scribe of the law of the God of heaven, greeting. It is decreed by me that all they of the people of Israel and of the priests and of the Levites in my realm that are minded to go into Jerusalem should go with thee. For thou art sent from before the king and his seven counselors to visit Judea and Jerusalem according to the law of thy God, which is in thy hand, and to carry the silver and gold which the king and his counselors have freely offered to the God of Israel, whose tabernacle is in Jerusalem. And all the silver and gold that thou shalt find in all the province of Babylon, and that the people is willing to offer, and that the priests shall offer of their own accord to the house of their God, which is in Jerusalem, take freely and buy diligently with this money calves, rams, lambs, with the sacrifices and libations of them, and offer them upon the altar of the temple of your God that is in Jerusalem. And if it seem good to thee and to thy brethren to do anything with the rest of the silver and gold, do it according to the will of your God. The vessels also that are given thee for the sacrifice of the house of thy God deliver thou in the sight of God in Jerusalem. And whatsoever more there shall be need of for the house of thy God, how much soever thou shalt have occasion to spend, it shall be given out of the treasury, and the king's exchequer, and by me. I, Artaxerxes, the king, have ordered and decreed to all the keepers of the public chest that are beyond the river, that whatsoever Esdras the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, shall require of you, you give it without delay, unto a hundred talents of silver, and unto a hundred cores of wheat, and unto a hundred baits of wine, and unto a hundred baits of oil, and salt without measure. All that belongeth to the rights of the God of heaven, let it be given diligently in the house of the God of heaven, lest his wrath should be enkindled against the realm of the king and of his sons. We give you also to understand concerning all the priests and the Levites, and the singers and the porters, and the Nathanites, and ministers of the house of this God, that you have no authority to impose toll or tribute or custom upon them. And now, Esdras, according to the wisdom of thy God, which is in thy hand, appoint judges and magistrates that may judge all the people, that is beyond the river, that is, for them who know the law of thy God, yea, and the ignorant, teach ye freely. And whosoever will not do the law of thy God, and the law of the king diligently, judgment shall be executed upon him, either unto death, or unto banishment, or to the confiscation of goods, or at least to prison. Blessed be the Lord, the God of our fathers, who hath put this in the king's heart, to glorify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, and hath inclined his mercy toward me before the king and his counselors, and all the mighty princes of the king. And I, being strengthened by the hand of the Lord my God, which was upon me, gathered together out of Israel chief men to go up with me. End of Side 1 Please. Chapter 8 The companions of Esdras, the fast which he appointed, they bring the holy vessels into the temple. Now these are the chiefs of families and the genealogy of them who came up with me from Babylon in the reign of Artaxerxes the king, of the sons of Phinehas, Gerson, of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Hattos, of the sons of Sechanias, the son of Pharos, Zacharias, and with him were numbered a hundred and fifty men. Of the sons of Phalath Moab, Eliolni, the son of Zareha, and with him two hundred men of the sons of Sechanias, the son of Ezekiel, and with him three hundred men, of the sons of Aden, Abed, the son of Jonathan, and with him fifty men, of the sons of Elam, Isaias, the son of Athaliah, and with him seventy men, of the sons of Sophathia, Zebediah, the son of Michael, and with him eighty men, of the sons of Job, Obedia, the son of Jehiel, and with him two hundred and eighteen men, of the sons of Selamith, the son of Josphiah, and with him a hundred and sixty men. Of the sons of Bebai, Zacharias, the son of Bebai, and with him eight and twenty men. Of the sons of Asgad, Joannan, the son of Ikitan, and with him a hundred and ten men. Of the sons of Adonikam, who were the last, and these are their names, Eliphelet, and Jehiel, and Samias, and with him sixty men. Of the sons of Begui, Uthai, and Zechor, and with them seventy men. And I gathered them together to the river which runneth down to Ahava, and we stayed there three days, and I sought among the people and among the priests for the sons of Levi, and found none there. So I sent Eliezer, and Ariel, and Simeas, and Elnathan, and Jareb, and another Elnathan, and Nathan, and Zacharias, and Mosalam, chief men, and Joirib, and Elnathan, wise men. 
and I sent them to Edo, who is chief in the place of Chesphiah, and I put in their mouth the words that they should speak to Edo, and his brethren, the Nathanites, in the place of Chesphiah, that they should bring us ministers of the house of our God. And by the good hand of our God upon us they brought us a most learned man of the sons of Moholi, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Sarabias and his sons, and his brethren eighteen, and Hasabias, and with him Isaias, of the sons of Merari, and his brethren, and his sons twenty, and out of the Nathanites, whom David and the princes gave for the service of the Levites, Nathanites two hundred and twenty, all these were called by their names. And I proclaim there a fast by the river Ahava, that we might afflict ourselves before the Lord our God, and might ask of him a right way for us and for our children, and for all our substance. For I was ashamed to ask the king for aid and for horsemen to defend us from the enemy in the way, because we had said to the king, The hand of our God is upon all them that seek him in goodness, and his power and strength and wrath upon all them that forsake him. And we fasted and besought our God for this, and it fell out prosperously unto us. And I separated twelve of the chief of the priests, Sarabias and Hasabias, and with them ten of their brethren. And I weighed unto them the silver and gold and the vessels consecrated for the house of our God, which the king and his counselors and his princes and all Israel that were found had offered. And I weighed to their hands six hundred and fifty talents of silver, and a hundred vessels of silver, and a hundred talents of gold, and twenty cups of gold, of a thousand solids, and two vessels of the best shining brass, beautiful as gold. And I said to them, You are the holy ones of the Lord. The vessels are holy, and the silver and gold, that is freely offered to the Lord, the God of our fathers. Watch ye, and keep them, till you deliver them by weight before the chief of the priests, and of the Levites, and the heads of the families of Israel and Jerusalem, into the treasure of the house of the Lord. And the priests and the Levites received the weight of the silver and gold, and the vessels, to carry them to Jerusalem, to the house of our God. Then we sent forward from the river Ahava, on the twelfth day of the first month, to go to Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was upon us, and delivered us from the hand of the enemy, and of such as lay in wait by the way. And we came to Jerusalem, and we stayed there three days. And on the fourth day the silver and the gold and the vessels were weighed in the house of our God by the hand of Merimoth, the son of Urias the priest. And with him was Eleazar, the son of Phinees, and with them Josabad, the son of Josue, and Noadiah, the son of Benoi, Levites. According to the number and weight of everything, and all the weight was written at that time. Moreover, the children of them that had been carried away, that were come out of the captivity, offered holocausts to the God of Israel, twelve calves for all the people of Israel, ninety-six rams, seventy-seven lambs, and twelve he-goats for sin, all for holocausts to the Lord. And they gave the king's edicts to the lords that were from the king's court, and the governors beyond the river. And they furthered the people and the house of God. Chapter 9 Esdrath Mornest For the Transgression of the People His Confession and Prayer And after these things were accomplished, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands from their abominations, namely, of the Canaanites and the Hathites, and the Pharisites, and the Jebusites, and the Ammonites, and the Moabites, and the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves, and for their sons. They have mingled the holy seed with the people of the land. And the hand of the princes and magistrates hath been first in this transgression. And when I had heard this word, I rent my mantle and my coat, and plucked off the hairs of my head and my beard. And I sat down mourning. And there were assembled to me all that feared the God of Israel, because of the transgression of those that were come from the captivity. And I sat sorrowful until the evening sacrifice. And at the evening sacrifice I rose up from my affliction, and having rent my mantle and my garments, I fell upon my knees, and spread out my hands to the Lord my God, and said, My God, I am confounded and ashamed to lift up my face to thee, for our iniquities are multiplied over our heads, and our sins are grown up even unto heaven. From the days of our fathers, we ourselves also have sinned grievously unto this day. And for our iniquities, we and our kings and our priests have been delivered into the hands of the kings of the land, and to the sword, and to captivity, and to spoil, and to confusion of face, as it is at this day. 
And now as a little and for a moment has our prayer been made before the Lord our God to leave us a remnant and give us a pin in his holy place, and that our God would enlighten our eyes and would give us a little life in our bondage. For we are bondmen, and in our bondage our God hath not forsaken us, but hath extended mercy upon us before the king of the Persians, to give us life, and to set up the house of our God, and to rebuild the desolations thereof, and to give us offense in Judah and Jerusalem. And now, O our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments, which thou hast commanded by the hand of thy servants the prophets, saying, The land which you go to possess is an unclean land, according to the uncleanness of the people and of other lands, with their abominations, who have filled it from mouth to mouth with their filth. Now therefore give not your daughters to their sons, and take not their daughters for your sons, and seek not their peace, nor their prosperity for ever, that you may be strengthened, and may eat the good things of the land, and may have our children your heirs for ever. And after all that has come upon us for our most wicked deeds and our great sins, seeing that thou, our God, hast saved us from our iniquity, and hast given us a deliverance as at this day, that we should not turn away, nor break thy commandments, nor join in marriage with the people of these abominations. Art thou angry with us unto utter destruction, not to leave us a remnant to be saved? O Lord God of Israel, thou art just, for we remain yet to be saved, as at this day. Behold, we are before thee in our sin, for there can be no standing before thee in this matter. Chapter 10 Order is given for discharging strange women. The Names of the Guilty Now when Esdras was thus praying and beseeching and weeping and lying before the temple of God, there was gathered to him of Israel an exceeding great assembly of men and women and children, and the people wept with much lamentation. And Sechanias the son of Jehiel, of the sons of Elam, answered and said to Esdras, We have sinned against our God, and have taken strange wives of the people of the land, and now if there be repentance in Israel concerning this, let us make a covenant with the Lord our God to put away all the wives, and such as are born of them according to the will of the Lord, and of them that fear the commandment of the Lord our God. Let it be done according to the law. Arise, it is thy heart to give orders, and we will be with thee. Take courage and do it. So Esdras arose and made the chiefs of the priests and of the Levites and all Israel to swear that they would do according to this word, and they swore. And Ezra rose up from before the house of God, and went to the chamber of Johanan the son of Eliasib, and entered in thither. He ate no bread, and drank no water, for he mourned for the transgression of them that were come out of the captivity. And proclamation was made in Judah and Jerusalem to all the children of the captivity, that they should assemble together into Jerusalem, and that whosoever would not come within three days, according to the counsel of the princes and the ancients, all his substance should be taken away, and he should be cast out of the company of them that were returned from captivity. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together to Jerusalem within three days in the ninth month, the twentieth day of the month. And all the people sat in the street of the house of God, trembling because of the sin and the rain. And Esdras the priest stood up and said to them, You have transgressed and taken strange wives to add to the sins of Israel. And now make confession to the Lord the God of your fathers, and do his pleasure. Separate yourselves from the people of the land, and from your strange wives. And all the multitude answered, and said with a loud voice, According to thy word unto us, so be it done. But as the people are many, and it is time of rain, and we are not able to stand without, and it is not a work of one day or two, for we have exceedingly sinned in this matter, let rulers be appointed in all the multitude, and in all our cities, let them that have strange wives come at the times appointed, and with them the ancients and the judges of every city, until the wrath of our God be turned away from us for this sin. Then Jonathan the son of Azahel and Josiah the son of Thekua were appointed over this, and Mesolam and Sebethai, Levites, helped them. And the children of the captivity did so, and Esdras the priest and the men, heads of the families and the houses of their fathers, and all by their names, went and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. 
and there were found among the sons of the priests that had taken strange wives. Of the sons of Joshua, the son of Josedek, and his brethren, Messiah, and Eliezer, and Jareb, and Gedolia. And they gave their hands to put away their wives, and to offer for their offense a ram of the flock. And of the sons of Emer, Hanani, and Zebediah, and of the sons of Haram, Messiah, and Elia, and Samiah, and Jehiel, and Ozias, and of the sons of Feshur, Elioli, Mesai, Ismael, Nathaniel, Jezebed, and Elasa, and of the sons of the Levites, Jezebed, and Semai, and Keliah, the same is Kalita, Phatiah, Judah, and Eliezer, and of the singing men, Eliseab, and of the porters, Selim, and Telim, and Uri, and of Israel, of the sons of Pharos, Ramai, and Jeziah, and Melchiah, and Miamin, and Eliezer, and Melchiah, and Baneah, and of the sons of Elam, Methaniah, Zacharias, and Jehiel, and Abdi, and Jeremoth, and Eliah, and of the sons of Zethua, Eloani, Elisib, Methaniah, Jeremoth, and Zebad, and Azizah, and of the sons of Babai, Johanan, Hananiah, Zabai, Athelai, and of the sons of Bani, Mosalem, and Melech, and Adiah, Jasub, and Sael, and Ramoth, and of the sons of Phahath, Moab, Edna, and Kelal, Benias, and Messias, Mathanias, Basileel, Benuai, and Manasi, and of the sons of Hiram, Eliezer, Joshua, Melchias, Simias, Simeon, Benjamin, Malak, Samarias, and of the sons of Hasam, Mathanai, Athatha, Zebad, and the Philet, Jermai, Manasi, Semai, and of the sons of Bani, Medai, Amran, and Uel, Benaeus, and Badias, Chelial, Benaiah, Meramoth, and Eliasib, Mathanias, Mathania, and Jesse, and Bani, and Benuai, and Semai, and Salmias, and Nathan, and Adias, and Mechnadibai, Sesai, Sarai, Israel, and Selomiah, Samariah, Selim, Amariah, Joseph, and of the sons of Nebo, Jehiel, Mathathias, Zabad, Zabina, Jedu, and Joel, and Benaiah. All these had taken strange wives, and there were among them women that had borne children.